Creed Aventus. Everybody knows it, but not everybody wants to actually spend the money on this stuff. I mean, the retail prices seem to be slowly climbing year over year. At the time of me recording this, they're going for 470 US dollars on the official Creed website for 100 mil, along with a lot of the other retailers. So basically, by the time you're out the door with shipping and tax, you're well over $500 at retail for a bottle of this stuff. And discounted prices are better, but they're still not great. It's still a lot of money for a cent at the end of the day, and not everybody wants to justify that insane cost. Luckily, living in 2022, you have a whole bunch of options on affordable clones that smell impressively similar to this one here. So today we're back with a buying guide, but this is a little bit of a different take on a buying guide. Normally, if you guys check out my buying guide playlist, I've done, I think, 20, 25 uh, buying guides where I take a fragrance line, like let's say Aqua de Joe, and I go through each and every flanker in the video to help you make an informed choice on which one you want to buy. Um, so this buying guide is gonna be done in the format of, we're gonna be taking a look at seven different Aventus clones the most popular ones, and I'm gonna be ranking them in terms of performance here. Because the reason why these seven are in this video is because they are Aventus clones, and they're very close to Aventus. So at that point, it's kind of just like, you gotta pick your favorite, and a lot of that for people at this point is now going to be, okay, I'm gonna buy whichever one performs the best. If they all smell like Aventus, that's great. I don't need seven different ones that smell like Aventus. I just want the best performing one, and that's what this video is gonna do. Because if I did this like a regular buying guide, it would just be like, okay, this smells like Aventus, this smells like Aventus, this smells like Aventus, and really we wouldn't get very far with that. So I also wanna point out to you guys a couple of things really, really quick before we get started. First of all being, performance is subjective, okay? It's going to vary from person to person, so just because I say that these perform X amount of time on my skin doesn't mean you're gonna get the same results. However, it will give you a starting point for you to start doing some testing. And the second thing is, there are going to be things left out of here. We're going over seven. There are many more than seven Aventus clones on the market, and we know that, okay? So if your favorite one is not in here, it's gonna be for one of two reasons. One, because it performs terribly, and so it's below the threshold of the number seven spot, at least on my skin, again, and two, I just don't know about it and I don't have it because there's a lot that are talked about that are very popular and there's probably still even more out there from some obscure random brands that uh, we just don't know about yet. So again, we're just kind of going over the main ones here. Number seven is gonna be the worst performing all the way up to number one, the strongest performing Aventus clone. I will link them down below. I will be posting deals on my community tab. You guys know the drill, let's get it. Okay, at number seven, we have Mercedes-Benz Select. So I've been a fan of this for a long, long time, and I think it's a really, really solid take on the Crete Aventus DNA. Heavy on the black current, is very vibrant, very bright, nice bergamot up top, uh, which is kind of alluding to that nice juicy pineapple smell, uh, nice pressurized atomizer, which is a bonus, but also a good dose of a sparkling ambroxan in here. This is really well done, very nice stuff for an affordable price on discounters gonna be falling somewhere around in that $40 range. Now again, it is at number seven. This is not one of the better performing ones. However, it's really not terrible. I mean, personally, on my skin, six hours is about what I typically see from this one, and that's on average, sometimes a bit more, and in the cooler months, sometimes a bit less. But generally, when I do apply it, it's gonna be around that six hour mark. Projection, a little bit soft as well, uh, but definitely not a skin scent either. So in this day and age, six hours is probably horrendous, but in the grand scheme, scheme of things, it's not terrible, but there are some that perform significantly better, more than double, and we'll get there as we work on. And number six, another designer brand. Uh, this is Mont Blanc Explore. So you guys are very familiar with this one as well, I'm sure. A lot of bergamot off the top, some musk, some birch, some woods, and uh, it's a Ventus. Dose of Ambroxan in here as well and it's clear what they were doing with this one. This in particular is actually a little bit more musky compared to uh, the batches of Aventus that I have and also the other clones, and that's why I brought up the musk note here in this one. Realistically, if these are Aventus clones, they're all gonna be utilizing musk, right? But this one is stronger. It has a little bit more of a quote-unquote 
cologne smell. And what I mean by that is if you think of, you know, an Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, a, a Mont Blanc legend, they all have this kind of oak moss, musky, cologne smell. There's a hint of that going on in here, ultimately making it a little bit more designer and a little bit more generic. However, still a very solid Aventus clone. And again, on discounters, 40, $45 range. Testers, I do believe, come with caps according to the picture on Fragrantica. So that's another way you can go and save a bit of money. Longevity on my skin is gonna be just a, a hair better than the Mercedes Benz. I can be lucky to get six and a half, seven, maybe sometimes eight when I'm wearing it in the heat in the summertime. It does tend to work better there for me. The cold weather does stunt this one. And also in the summertime, this one does tend to project better overall. So ultimately that's kind of where it falls. Uh, again, not terrible, but there are better options out there. At number five, we have one that's a little bit newer to my collection. It's Latafa Rave Now Black. So Rave on the front. Now on the back, it's an Eau de Parfum concentration and a black bottle. So you can get this one on Fragrance Buy. You know, they have a lot of these here. And this is what I would call Fruit Ventus. Yes, Fruit Ventus. The reason why is because when you smell this one, it is syrupy, dull pineapple juice fruitiness right off the top. I mean, it is no joke. Gonna be much sweeter than some of these other clones in here, and you'll find that out immediately. The first two we covered, the Mercedes Benz and the Mont Blanc, fresher overall. Uh, this one, though, does have more of a sweetness, actually making it a nice choice for winter. Even though you think of fruit compared to summertime, you know, they kind of go together, you would think. Um, this The sweetness of this one will hinder it in summertime and maybe make it a bit cloying. But now that we're moving into cold weather, the cold weather will help to tame this one down. And so it's kind of really fitting for that. So it's basically just a sweeter take on Creed Aventus. Now, this one here, longevity wise, is gonna be a, a decent step better than the first two we covered. You know, on my skin, I've been pretty lucky to get about eight and a half, nine hours on average, again, sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less, it's always gonna vary, and it's gonna vary on your skin as well. But at a Eau de Parfum concentration for a good price, uh, I can't complain. And also given that it's a Latafa, so now we're getting into the actual straight up clone brands, like all they do is clones, uh, it didn't surprise me that it performs better, because believe it or not, a lot of these clone brands pump out some pretty strong stuff. This is no exception. At number four, another one from Latafa. This one is Aldur Al Maknoon. Okay, probably butchered that one all the way, but you know, is what it is. You can tell the cap looks familiar and actually the square bottle itself is just much shorter and a little bit wider than something like Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man, right? Looks pretty similar, but this is not Armoff. Again, this is Latafa. Now, if the last one was Fruit Ventus, I label this one as Leather Ventus. It's the dumbest thing ever, but just bear with me. There's a, a much stronger leather accord in this compared to actual Ventus itself. Now, I mean, you get that right off the bat. I mean, it's it's leathery, it's pineapple it's fruity, it's birchy, it's smoky. It's still very much Ventus, but again, that leather accord punches through. Ultimately, giving it a little bit more of a different approach on the DNA, a little bit more of a masculine edge in a different sense, although still very much an Aventus clone. And over time on skin, the leather will start to dissipate a little bit and more so go, go to the background and it makes room for the fruits, you know, the other woods and, and just the typical Aventus DNA to shine through. But again, still have a nice solid dose of leather in here, which I actually kind of like. Now this one is also an Eau de Parfum and performance, given that it has that leathery base, is a little bit better than some of these other ones, at least up to this point. It's right around the nine and a half hour mark on me. Sometimes again, a bit less, a bit more, but nine, nine and a half is where this one is falling. So I really can't complain. Now again, this one is going to be a little bit less of your traditional take on an Aventus clone. So do keep that in mind. Although again, definitely close enough to fit in the Aventus clone video. And it's a nice little take for you if you want something different and it breaks up the monotony of a video like this where they're all pretty much the same. So a nice one to have around if you want something different. And speaking of Armoff, right? This one had to be in here at some point. You guys know it, but 
maybe not what you think. It's Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. So I've talked about this one on the channel, and really for me, it's the only uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man that I'm going to uh, find myself wearing or even talking about anymore. Now you can go way back on the channel. And when I was first starting out, I was rocking the EDT because I had nowhere near the money to buy a bottle of Aventus. And even at that time to buy a sample that was big enough for me to wear, you know, a decant, it still would have been, you know, a financially better decision for me to just buy Club de Nuit Intense Man for 25 bucks. So that's what I did and I wore it heavily for a long time. I put a lot of usage on that bottle and even though I couldn't see through the bottle to see how much of a dent I put in it, I wore a lot of it through. And it was a great scent, right? It really worked well. The opening on that Eau de Toilette was a little bit rough, but the dry down with that birch, it was smoky, it was amazing. Since then, they've released an Eau de Parfum. They've released a like pure parfum oil or something like that. It's limited edition and harder to find even than some of the others. And uh, a regular parfum and this parfum limited edition, which again, for me, this is the way to go. If you want to buy a Club de Nuit Intense Man in 2022, out of everything they have out right now for Aventus clones, spring the extra money forward and get this. Usually about $60 or so, so a bit more, but when you compare that to Aventus, it's still uh, a huge uh, deal here. So what's the difference? This one does have some of that smokiness that Club de Nuit Intense Man is known for. It has more smokiness than actual Creed Aventus these days. You know, over time with the reformulations and sort of thing, uh, the smokiness is, is very minimal to none, right? The birch is the only thing that would give off a little bit of that, but it's pretty much just not like that anymore. A lot of the Aventus is very citrusy and very fruity and, and musky, and that's about it. So this one does bring in some more impact. It's more smooth and well-rounded compared to previous versions of Club de Nuit Intense Man. And given that it's a parfum concentration, it's going to be significantly stronger as well, especially in the longevity department. And again, even between the Parfum and then the limited edition Parfum, I still find this one to be superior with the quality and even the performance. So we'll talk about that performance, right? That's what you're here for. Now, again, this is at number three in the video. And for me, 10 hours is, is nothing for this one. It does a fantastic job of reaching it to that point. It'll go a little bit beyond, but not really all that often. It kind of does taper off pretty quickly once you get to about that 10 hour mark. Sometimes it'll fall a little bit short. Sometimes it'll hit it right on. But this one, as soon as you start going past that and you're smelling it and you're trying to figure out what you're wearing, it, it really kind of dies off to the point where you're not left with much. Like it, you're not left with the full Aventus smell. You're only picking up on a few notes at that point and it's, it really is very subtle. So it'll make it there and it definitely outperforms a lot of the others, but it doesn't go beyond that point. That being said, the price, the quality, the performance, and the smell, and the closeness to Aventus, this one is really good, and it makes it to number three. Okay, at number two, uh, we're really ramping up here, and if you thought these were strong, you just wait. We have Athnan Supremacy, not only Intense. So this one also is going to be a little bit of a different take, right? And the way I describe this one is it's Aventus meets Nishane Hasavat, which that is also kind of considered an Aventus clone. It's just, it's much sweeter. So essentially you're taking the, the, the oak moss, pineapple, syrupy sweetness of Hasavat, and you're mixing it with more of the, the birch, the woods, and the musk from Aventus. You get both of those combined into one for about $60, $65 on discounters. Now this one is also a pure parfum concentration here. And given that it has that heavier smell overall, this stuff is ridiculously strong. 11, 12 hours is, is kind of the ballpark that this one falls in for me. So there's actually a little bit of a decent jump from uh, the arm off up to this one here, that performance. It, it really is a powerhouse of a scent. Now, I will issue the disclaimer that summertime is probably going to be one of your last choices for this one outdoors indoor climate control 70 degrees 68 whatever it's set at this is going to be fine right that's comfortable temperature and unless you're doing a lot of work to really start sweating you're probably not going to get bothered by this or bother other people 
but summertime outdoors, this one's going to get pretty cloying pretty quickly. So do be careful with that. If you're somewhere in the southern hemisphere where it's starting to warm up, this might not be your best option. There's other ones in here. But if you're like me and you're heading into wintertime, that is the perfect time to wear this one. And that performance just crushes the cold weather outside. I mean, this stuff is a beast. And again, at this price point, cheaper than a lot of just designer fragrances out there in general, you can't really beat that. So this number one spot shocked me heavily because this one in particular and the original were ones that I just never really got around to getting, I guess. You know, again, there's so many Aventus clones. How many do you really need? However, I kept having comments of people saying, yo, you got to check this one out. It's not the original. It's the intense version. You got to get it because it performs better than most other ones that are being talked about and that you're talking about. It's just really, really good. I'm like, OK, you know, whatever. I'll get it, I guess. It's not like I don't like the smell anyway of Aventus. So what's one more? Right. And I got it, you know, and I tried it and I'm like, yeah, this smells really good. It's definitely Aventus. And as I was testing it, I kept smelling it and I kept smelling it 12, 13 hours later, I'm ready to just be done and go to bed and I'm still smelling it. And I'm like, okay, this stuff here, they might be onto something at the number one spot. The best performing one, at least that I'm aware of and that I have is Laventure Intense. So yeah, I mean, another Al Haramain here at the top, but you know, this stuff is, uh, truly truly strong i mean it's crazy strong and the smell itself is going to go back to the more traditional aventus clone smell so it's the perfect balance of fruitiness and freshness um, with the woods and the musk and kind of the smokiness so it doesn't go too sweet doesn't go too fresh it's very well balanced so again more traditional aventus clone style here it doesn't variate too much like maybe a couple of the others and it shocked me very much at how strong this one is. I mean, it really is nothing short of impressive. Now, the original one I did end up picking up after this because, again, I didn't have the original until I got this. Everyone was telling me to get this. And then I got the original. Of course, it smells great. That one got a lot of hype. And it just it performs good, but not as good as a lot of these other ones, and especially not this one. So I do think if you're going to get a Laventure, this is the one to get. And again, if you want the strongest one, again, on my skin, it's the strongest. And so it might give you the best results overall. This is going to be the one for you. It's incredible. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, the seven strongest Creed Aventus clones, a little bit of a different take on a buying guide, and I hope it helps you out. Links to these will be down below. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.